I promise to love, honor, and respect you. I promise to love, cherish, and protect you. From this day forward, to death do us part. I remember my wedding day, practically as if it were yesterday. My dress, perfect, and flowers filled the room. Everyone that I loved was there. And I remember saying to God, thank you for allowing me to marry the man of my dreams and having him to pick me to be his bride. I was so excited. You know, I come from very humble beginnings to have my entire family drive nine hours to witness this union feel my soul. Not to mention my childhood pastor was marrying her. I was so filled with joy that I even yelled, I do! And the honeymoon was spectacular. It was so relaxing. We walked on the beach and rode in the sand. It was just he and I spending lots of time together. We were so in love. The resort had this very nice jewelry store, and she had her eye on a pendant. The look in her eyes just said, I have to have this. So of course, her wish was my command. She was so thankful. The embrace that she gave me was so warm and tight that I wish she would never let me go. And then? We went home. It was as if his head was a giant nothing box. I mean, dirty dishes left on my kitchen table, and my all-time favorite, dirty underwear on my bedroom floor. It's as if he thought they would generate legs and walk themselves into the laundry room. And then, he has this awesome way of tuning out right when the kids start crying. After the honeymoon, I found out that my wife was crazy. She asks questions, but doesn't want answers. She wants to talk things out, but gives me the silent treatment. But here's the kicker. Little Miss Crazy forgot that she was my wife and turned into my mother. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Marriage wasn't meant to make you happy. It was meant to make you holy as we become more like him. I promise to love, honor, and respect you as you become more like him. I promise to love, cherish, and protect you as you become more like him. The journey to having a holy marriage isn't easy, but it is good. And that's why we're inviting you to join us on April 10th at 6.30 p.m. for a four-week study entitled The Adam and Eve Syndrome. This study hopes to encourage you with truth through the bumps that come with being married. None of us are perfect, but we're all in this together. Please sign up in the lobby after service.